If you want to edit 360 footage from your mobile device, then stick around because we're going to review Collect. It's an app that promises to be one of the best 360 video editors on both iOS and Android. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. We release a ton of content to help you get better results with your videos faster. If you're new here, then make sure you click that big subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description below. So let's jump into it. 360 video is becoming more and more popular, especially with the cheap entry cost of cameras these days. But editing is typically where the process falls down for a lot of people. Now we've taken a look at 360 video editing on Mac and PC already, but for those of you who are looking to do it all from your smartphone, there are now some solid options to edit your 360 videos right from your smartphone or your mobile device. One of these apps is called Collect, and we've recently been putting it through its paces to see if it really is the best app for editing 360 video. So in this video, we're gonna run you through my thoughts and everything you need to know about the app before you hit that download button. And to help you get the best results with your 360 videos, I'll be throwing in my number one bonus tip for 360 video editing at the end of this video to help get you started. There's a few different options out there when it comes to apps for editing 360 video files on your smartphones. We've tried quite a few of them now and the reason that Collect is the standout for us right now is because of the feature set. You can easily combine a heap of different 360 video files together, literally just drag and drop, and you can reposition them and move them around by picking them up and swapping the order. It's so easy to select a clip and trim the start and finish, or to take a section out of the middle. So all of your basic editing functionality that you'd find in most editing apps or software, you can do in real time on your phone, but with 360 footage as well. But some of the standout features that really set Collect apart from the rest is that this one will allow you to slow down and speed up your clips, or give you the ability to use fast and slow motion in your editing. And there's also built-in filters, which make it really easy to change the look and the feel of your video really, really easily. And probably the feature that I'm most excited about in this app is having the ability to reposition your 360 video file so that you can change the start point or change the new center point of your 360 video. So when your viewer is watching your video, you get to dictate which is the first thing they see or the default position for their 360 viewing experience. Now this is really, really important because as with any video, you wanna capture your audience immediately. One of the things I see happen in a lot of 360 videos is that it can be confusing for the viewer watching because the action might be going on behind them instead of right in front of them. So it's really important to reposition your shots or to have the ability to reposition your shots so that you can take your viewer direct to the interesting part and then let them look around from there. If not, they might miss the most important thing or the most exciting thing that's going on in your 360 videos. So for me, that is a massive standout feature. And really when I read that in the feature list, that was really what tipped me over the edge to really try and take this app seriously. And then the rest of it, the ease of use and adding filters and just how simple it is to use to pick up and, and adjust your clips and reorder them and to trim them down. It is the clear standout when it comes to 360 video editing from smartphone. Once you're done editing, videos it's also really easy to share them out to YouTube or Facebook or to any other social platform or even as a message as well so those are the features and those are what I really like about it the things that I think that is currently missing or what would be nice to have would be the ability to add in titles or graphics or logos so that you could really get full control over your edit. But in saying that, these are 360 videos and you don't necessarily always wanna have those features. So in regards to the feature set that's already there, I think, as I said, it is the best one in my opinion right now. I'm sure this space is gonna change, but it's definitely worth trying out and see how this works for you and the style of 360 videos you're going to be creating. Now, the reason that I really like this app as well is that it makes it so seamless to edit your videos. Now, there's a lot of 360 cameras out there on the market these days things like the Insta360 Nano, the Insta360 Air, the Samsung Gear 360, and a lot of other devices as well. But a lot of them you can control and get the footage easily onto your smartphones if it's not already directly recording to your smartphone. So it makes it the logical place to edit your footage down is on the device that you're capturing it with or controlling the camera with. So in regards to for sharing and creating quick 360 videos for social media, I think it's a real no-brainer to edit on your smartphone. Now, just before we jump into my number one tip to help you improve your results when you're editing your 360 videos, let's run through the takeaways and exactly who I'd recommend the Collect app for and who it may not be such a good fit for. 
All right, so who would I recommend the Collect 360 video app for? Well, it's anyone that is looking for a fast way to edit down their 360 videos, to add filters, to recenter and refocus their 360 video files all from their smartphone. So this would be perfect for someone that's using a 360 camera that is already connected and hooked up to their smartphone, something like the Insta360 Nano, the Insta360 Air, or even one of the Samsung Gear 360 cameras as well. And there's others. But something where the footage is either easy to transfer to your smartphone or it's already directly recording to the smartphone. Makes it a no-brainer. The footage is already there or is easy to get there then you can edit from there as well. And then in regards to who this app wouldn't be suited to or who I wouldn't recommend it for, would be someone that's looking for advanced 360 video editing. So advanced color correction, things like stabilization or titles, effects, graphics that they wanna add and include in the videos and more control over the music editing as well and audio editing. If you're looking for professional editing tools like that, then maybe a desktop, something like Adobe Premiere Pro is gonna be more suited for what you're after. But if you're looking for a really fast way to quickly edit down your 360 video files and have the ability to share them out from anywhere without the need to use a desktop or a laptop computer, then the Collect 360 video editing app is amazing for that. Now in regards to my number one tip for editing your 360 videos, it is to keep your edits to at least 20 to 30 seconds for each separate scene. Now this is really important with 360 video that you're giving the viewer enough time to look around in the 360 environment that you're taking them to. So if you're doing really quick cuts, five seconds, 10 seconds, or less, then it's not gonna give them enough time if they've got a headset on or if they're swiping around on their phone to really get immersed in that 360 environment. And it'll actually be really annoying for them if they don't have enough time to really look around each 360 scene that you're taking them to. So each edit, each cut, or each scene needs to be at least 20 to 30 seconds each to give your viewer enough time to look around and to really experience what you're showing them in your 360 videos. Don't be tempted to cut to the beat and to edit really, really fast because it will just annoy your viewers and they won't be able to get the full 360 experience. Now, if you are looking for a more advanced way to edit your 360 video files, then check out the video linked on screen now where we take you through the process of 360 video editing using Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll see you soon.